Good evening, everyone. My name's Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and welcome back to another Lumber Tycoon 2 video. <coughs> so I said yesterday in um, one of the in yesterday's video that I really like the sound of rain and ambience, and I wanted to try something. Tell me if you like it. If you don't, that's fine. This will be the only one that I tried on. If you really like it, then I'll keep going with the kind kinds of sounds. But I uh, I really like the sound of rain. So, I'm going to try putting it on in the background and just go about my business of, uh, you know, playing and hanging out and having fun. And hopefully you guys enjoy it. <clears throat> who knows? It might be more relaxing than uh, most of the videos that I've ever done. But who knows? <laughs> uh, I have already got a couple of people that were jumping around on my base and saying hi. So, I'm just going to say hello. <laughs> I'm finally back. I was trying to do a green screen to actually make um, rain come down over the top of everything, but it didn't quite work. The green screen was a little off, so and that's okay. I can uh, I can work with that later. Mm. Oh, I just noticed that the the, uh, the colors of my glass door are slightly off. Oh. Well. <laughs> um, where did I leave off last time? I was working with the doors, wasn't I? Can I give you money? Sure. If you like. I don't mind. Shout out to, uh, Home Sana. For, uh, handing, handing out, uh, free monies. Um... By the way, it's getting closer and closer to October, which means, um, one, it's closer to my dad's birthday, and it's closer to Halloween, and we are getting ready to get spook wood and Halloween treats and stuff inside lumber. I'm excited. Uh, Defaultio's been working pretty heavily on Projute and just getting it up and running and going and having fun in there. So, oh. That was a little short. There we go. Could you please look at my base? Sure. Where... Where is it? Well, I cannot spell. Is this your base, dude? Home sauna? Sauna? Or it's Homes Una. Homes Una? Without the camel caps, I, I can never tell where the... First word starts and the last word ends. He did too. What's up, buddy? Cool, cool. Ooh, he's got some many axes. He's got so many axes. Nice display cabinets. I love marble with electric wood. Or cave crawler wood. Or whatever you want to call it. Blue wood, glow wood. You can't call it glow wood. Glow wood is the other stuff. Oh, look at that. I love how he's got the red going around the, the bottom right there. That's cool. Nicer than mine. I hear a chop saw from the background. But it's not quite, uh... Not quite as... Oh. Oh, he pulled out a chocolate bar in a in a hot chocolate for me. Oh, it looks like that hot chocolate's been sitting there a little while. He was able to turn it upside down like a frosty, and it wasn't falling out. That's a uh, <coughs> that's been sitting there a bit, sir. All right, heading upstairs. I should probably change the ambient sound to uh, something more indoorsy. Whenever. Oh. <laughs> Very cool. <laughs> now, keep in mind, this is only like one half of his base. He still has this entire half over here. This looks like a, a workshop with some bins and stuff. Dude, nice. Okay, that looks cool. We were just talking about the uh, thunderstorms and lightning. Well, no, rainstorms is what I was talking about. 
blue. Let's see, he's got glow wood. I think that's either birch. Could be palm. Can't really tell from here. Bunch of stuff. Ooh, that's a lot of blue wood. I I never like putting blue wood inside blue wood bins because it hides it. <laughs> it just makes it really hard to see. It works though. I noticed that in uh, some of my other bins. Doop, 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 doop. Nice. It's got a reducer. <gasps> Is this an automatic one by one chop saw? Who taught you how to do that? Probably not. He, he probably sell bunny films. Bunny films. Here it comes. Nice. When's the video coming out next? That is awesome, dude. Very cool. Oh, that one fell on through. Oh. I love automatic chop sauce. And he's got some hearts right here. Yeet! H.S. Love. S H love home zone. Very cool, dude. Love it. Love it. Nice face. Brendan, thank you so much. You're welcome. But I'm heading back over here. I'm, I'm gonna go uh, go build my doors. No, I'm not talking about the band the doors. Break on through to the other side. <clears throat> Just a nice, easy, rainy day. What I really like is when it's uh it's a cool rain. Not it's not cold, it's not stormy rain. It's just it's like on a summer day. With uh where like you go outside and you actually enjoy the rain. A lot of people run for shelter and they're like, oh no, I don't want to get wet. But like, we don't really have anywhere to go. And it's it's a weekend and you're hanging out and like, you can't go mow the lawn, you can't go outside for anything. But it's not lightning. And you just throw on uh, some shorts, some pants, and or some shorts and a shirt and you go outside and play in the rain. And you can smell the grass or dirt depending on where you live because I know uh, New Mexico has a very dirt smell <laughs> that's just because of the environment that you're in you're in mostly desert uh, unless you're up in like Popcroft or something like that and then it's a it's slightly different smell and if you're in Cro Cloudcroft and you just freaked out that I said Cloudcroft oh my goodness <laughs> Thank you for subscribing from Cloud, Cloud, Cloudcroft. <laughs> Appreciate it. I hope you enjoy your money. Oh my goodness, thank you. Thank you so, so much. Smudge. So much. Oops, that was the wrong face. I meant to do the other face. <laughs> Justin, there's three million. Uh, there we go. <coughs> I I'm really enjoying the room. You guys might not, but I like it. It's very calming. Very smooth. Soothing. Uh I used to have like a gravel driveway that I would go and oh that got stuck in it that I would go outside and I had my little Hot Wheels. Okay, this was this was a long time ago, but um, whenever it rains, the rain would come down our driveway, down into the yard a little bit because of the, uh, the way that the road tilted in comparison to our street. 
the, the driveway itself. And I remember making little paths for my my little Hot Wheels, and they were um, Bigfoots, um, monster trucks. The, it was still little, but I mean, to me, they were big. I was a little kid. And I remember making these paths uh, and pretending like they were rivers that my big wheels, or my monster trucks could go down. It was fun. I should go play a big big wheels game, or a, a monster truck game inside Roblox. Um, real quick, if you are new to programming or if you are new to um, Roblox Studio, I want you to realize there is no limit to what can be created inside Roblox. Um, I see a lot of tycoon games, I see a lot of simulator games, I see a lot of these quick buck, take Robux, steal your money games come out. And no offense, they suck. Seriously. Like, could somebody please make an amazing non-Robloxian game? Please? Something that is just 100% not Roblox. Like, when you look at this game, you would be like, whoa, that was made in Roblox? Get rid of the character. Okay? This this thing right here. Get rid of the characters. Make your own characters. Second, get rid of the Bloxy stuff. Make everything a mesh. And make the, the terrain. All terrain. Just saying. I have ideas for doing that kind of stuff, and I just... <sighs> time. Time, pretty much, is uh, not on my side. Time's not on my side. No, it's not. <clears throat> it's an old song. Not one of my songs. It's one of my mom's songs. Oh my goodness. We've been recording for like 12 minutes. So, it's 12 minutes of rain that you guys have been hearing. I like foggy rain, too. When... When you're... Sitting outside and you can see... Probably about 50 to 100 feet in front of you. And then that wall of fog, just like this, starts to happen. Oh, those are, those are nice days. When you're sitting underneath a, a patio on a swing with some coffee. Speaking of which... I really like the rain. <laughs> Whoa! Did you... Did I just see somebody fall? <laughs> that was awesome. Oh my goodness. Alright, let's grab this. And move it on up. Move it on up. Actually, need to stick it right there for now. We'll move it a little bit further down and up. There we go. And then just move this right here. And move this right here. There we go. Now, no. Oh, not going to be able to. Ah. Oop, there we go. A doop, 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 further up we go, because, okay, okay, fine, it's almost impossible to not cross the doors over, because we, we only have so many pixels that our mouse can, like, point at up there. If you guys know about rays, 
and how m the mouse object works, you'll know that it's actually very tiny, way up there. And it's more of an estimation of like the angle of where it's coming out of. Which, you know, doesn't make for very good accuracy. I don't I don't know if you know what I'm talking about. <clears throat> um there was some of it done whenever I was doing Let's Make a Game and doing the um, the lasers or the uh, the grabbing movement. I was trying to figure this out where you like grab something and lift it and you can move it around like this. Because technically from where my character is standing to the point that I'm pointing at on the ground is not where that ball appears. It's kind of a, a tilt. A tilted angle of where it should be. Does that make sense? So like, from the top of my head down to the this point in my feet, there should be a line that goes straight down like that and points to somewhere right there. So that means this ball, this blue ball, should appear somewhere on that line, but it doesn't. There's a mathematical calculation of some kind that he does that pushes it out a specific amount of pixels and then lifts it to a certain point. Anyhow, I don't have that mathematical algorithm. Bye. Anyway, Prime, love the videos. Keep up the good work. Money goes to good use. The money will go to good use. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. Sorry, I, I have not been talking inside games very often, but um, I am kind of recording, so I, I don't know if it's rude for me not to talk. I, gu I guess it is pretty rude if I'm not paying attention to the chat. So... I apologize. I'm sorry. <sighs> Just a rainy day inside lumber. It's kind of weird to like think of the rain happening and then the sun's like right there and that not really a cloud in the sky. No cum cumulonimbus to cause rain. I'm having fun. You know, I'm gonna get done building this, and then I'm probably never gonna use it. So what's the point in building it? The point would be so I can. To prove to myself that I can. Even though it's taking forever. And it's been what? Like Four months? Five months? Six months? I don't, I don't remember. It's been a while. But we love Lumber Tycoon too. And for some reason you guys really like Lumber? Even though the point to what I'm doing is not really to show you how to build or to how to game or any secrets anymore. It's it's changed to talking. It's more like a it's more like lumber lumber vlog. Lumber vlog. Lumber tech into vlogs. Of me just uh, talking in the microphone. Oh speak of which uh, real world stuff, I'm going to be out at uh, my daughter's school tomorrow to talk as an author. <laughs> Yay Um you write one book and people are like, oh my goodness. <laughs> no, it's, it's a pretty big deal. I think it's cool. Um, I got a letter from one of Hope's teachers, one of her English literary uh, reading teachers, and she said, your daughter just talks about you so much, about YouTube, and she's so proud of everything that you've done and you, you wrote your book. And we're going through a section right now where we're talking about publishing books and, and being a publisher or being an author 
would you mind coming in and, and doing a, either a single or a double class and letting this record you and do everything? I'm like, yeah, sure, $2,000. No, um, <laughs> I, I, <laughs> no, I did not do that. I said, yeah, sure, I'd, I would love to do that. That would be an amazing experience. So that's what we're doing tomorrow. I'm gonna go talk about books. I, I don't know. I've. It's really kind of strange to me to be a published author because I don't like reading. No offense. My kind of reading are technical modules, um, programming books, stuff like that. And even then, I get so bored of the way people trying to explain programming languages. And when I wrote the book, I told myself, you're going to write this and people are going to say the same thing about your book that that you say about other people's books. And I'm like, oh, I, don't, I don't want people to say that. <clears throat> so, when I found out I had free reign to basically just build the book however I wanted to build it, I thought to myself, I'm going to write a book the way I would want to read a book. And it may say the advanced Roblox coding book, it's not. I mean, it's, it is very... It is very much a simple version meant for kids and teens. I don't get into modules or like I do touch on GUIs just a little bit, but nothing to the point of uh, what I've got for like my admin panel and stuff like that. The point of the book, the advanced Roblox coding book, is to take you from zero knowledge. Let's say you've never touched a programming language in your life. It is to take you from that zero knowledge to a intermediate advanced stage where you can teach yourself beyond my book. That's, that's the point. 255 pages, by the way. Which was ironic because uh, 255 is F in hexadecimal is FF. If you were to label each one of the pages starting from 00 to FF, it would be 255. 256, technically. <laughs> zero, 01. You'd have to start counting at 1. Um, for those of you asking, Code, what are you doing? I'm opening all the doors, currently. Um, I'm taking every single one of these doors, and I'm going to open it before I get going. And the reason for that is so whenever I place the door, it will automatically open. That way I don't have to go back and open the door just so I can place more doors. More door! For example. Uh, actually, hold on. Let's hit B. Ooh, it's stuck. Whee! Whoa! Whee! <clears throat> Alright, so this one, I'm going to open the door. Whoa, no! No, 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 no. Actually, wait. That'll work. Open this door, and then we're going to move this door. Move B. And that should open all those doors up. Should I move these out first? I think so. Okay, so let's grab these. Can I, can I grab? Oh, it's just out of reach. I can't grab it. Alright, I can grab that one. So... Excuse me. Oh no, 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 no. Oh, I fell down like way too far. <laughs> oh no, these doors are not opened already. That means I'm going to have to take time to actually open them up and stuff. Alright. One, two, three. Oh, okay. Hold on. One, two, three, four, five, four. There we go. And if I open, yay. Am I close enough now? <gasps> I'm close enough. Yay. 
That's what I'm talking about. No, you're good, you're good, you're good. He wasn't that far. It's okay. There you go. Hmm. I'm really excited about tomorrow. I'm I'm I love talking to people. I love talking to kids. I love talking to teachers. I love free lunches. Free lunches. <laughs> Probably gonna have to take my lunch because uh, I won't have time to sit in line. But I will get to eat lunch with my daughter. Why so many doors? Uh, I'm making a bridge. A bridge to Terabithia. No, uh, to the water cave. What to? The water cave. Uh, have you guys seen the the cave? The IQ. Wait, what? Have you not been inside the cave? If he's not been, we're gonna go on an adventure. Oh, he has. Okay. I'm making a bridge to get the uh, yellow wood out of the river. He's like, yes, just use a car. But the bridge will allow me to walk there and pull out the trees. Is this what the next video is going to be on? Maybe. I never said I was recording. Winky face. Or am I? Ooh, secret. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> I think they just realized that I'm recording. <laughs> That's fun. I like secret recording. Guess we'll know when the video drops. <laughs> Am I going to be able to reach that one? Oh, I can reach it. Yay! We're at 28 minutes. Rain's still going. I am I am really enjoying the rain. It just puts me in a good mood. Whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> Don't fall down, Code. Don't fall down. <clears throat> Hopefully I can hit all of these from up here. Let's try it. Move. Right. Can I get on this side? Ooh! I can't see it. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. It's really hard to see from down there. Alright. Boink. Those are fun. Tell you what, this is a lot of work to build door bridges. But you put in the effort, you will get rewarded. Wait a second. Okay. Whew. That's a lava tree. For a second, I'm like, wait. And then... I couldn't see very well. 
I almost thought that that was a like a spook tree or something off in the background. Hi, hey, buddy. He's like hiding in the back. <laughs> oh, I can still grab it. Whoa, J Pro, look out, dude. Oh, 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 get closer to the edge. Nice. Oh. All right. Uh that's kind of hard to judge the uh, height on. There we go. Man, we are going to have a lot of higher doors than the ladders, aren't we? I cry every time. No, oh, no, I just dropped. Mm -hmm. You should call yourself base. And then you could say you dropped the base. Ha <laughs> ha Dad jokes. <laughs> oh, it's gonna have an axe. It's gonna have to ask Sona. It's a Sona. Oh, dude. Oh, God. <laughs> Guy. Man, that is getting harder and harder to do. Hold on. <clears throat> oh, would it be easier to see it during the daytime? Maybe not. Alright, come on, please. Got it. Nicely done. Now, for the moment you've all been waiting for. Close the door. Close the door. All right. Move. B. Close the door. Move. B. Close the door. Move, 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 B. Please don't knock me off. <laughs> Close the door. Move, B. Close the door. Move B. Close the door. Uh, move B. Close the door. Move B. Close the door. Move B. They're all following me down. Move B. Close the door. Move B. Close the door. That was a lot of doors this time, guys. Close the door. B. Door bridges are very boring. Just so you know, if you're setting out to do your own door bridge inside lumber, I will give you fair warning right now. They are boring. They are so boring, and they take so long to do. You can ask all of us door bridge experts when we do these, we do so knowing that there is going to be some time spent. Close. Move B. I'll do the one just below it. Move B. Now we should be able to drop. Just estimating right there. Oh, I fell down. 
<laughs> I was close. So close. Uh-oh. Am I going to be able to get in between the laser? Oh, no. Oh, my head's stuck. Oh, come on. Oh. There we go. Jump out there. Move B. Okay. Do I have any doors that did not come down? Nope. I got them all. I got all the doors. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. How far does this go? Do, 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 do. We're at 35 minutes. If you have to go to school, or if you're on your way to school, or if you're trying to get dinner done, or whatever the case may be, if you're eating breakfast right now, and you've got to go to school, or if you just got home and need to go to bed, whatever the case may be, don't go over your time. Listen to your parents. Parents, if you see them watching one of my videos, give them a little bit of time. Give them a little bit of extra minutes to hang out and have fun. Oh, we have reached the opposite end. Oh my goodness. So close. Oh my gosh, we're right there. Look at that, guys. <clears throat> Oh my gosh. What is, okay. I could probably measure this. Like, well, code, how do you how do you measure that? Like this. Okay, so whoa. I will stand on one of these doors. And I'm going to go all the way up like that. I'm gonna use the greater than less than symbols. And watch. One, two, three, wait, we're not counting this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. So that's nineteen doors. I'm gonna leave my cursor right there and watch. One, two, three, four. Nineteen more doors will get us to right there. So I'm just gonna take an estimation and say twenty-one more doors. And we'll get to the end. 21 more doors. Once we get to the end, we can start building a bridge down to, to walk over the thing. Oh, oh, do I get to report? I get to report? Yes. Uh, flag. Report. Uh, scamming. Using fake account to try and get website people people to go to in chat. It's a bot. Boom. So much. Our moderators will review your chat box. By the way, if you report enough good things like that, if you are, uh, if you report enough legit things, you will get what's called the express reporting. That's Roblox will actually send you a thing that says, hey, look, you've actually reported enough good, like, quality uh, reports to us that your ticket, whenever you put in a report like that, will actually go basically to the top or to the front of the line with everybody else that's got Express. So make good reports and do it. Anyhow, that's it for now. Uh, tell me what you thought of the rain in the background. Was it good? Was it bad? Would you like to hear more ambient sounds like this? It's your choice, if you want. The cave is open, I think. One. Thank you for watching this episode of Lumber Tycoon 2. With me, Heath Haskins, Code Primate. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Do all those cool things I'm supposed to call out at the end of the videos. But again, it's your choice. If you want to, go for it. If not, there's no pressure to actually do any of it. You were here, you watched, and you stayed until the end. In fact, hashtag I watched till the end in, in the comments down below, if you want. Love you guys very much. Have a great night. And we'll talk to you very soon. Outro.
Thank you.